Hello everyone, this is Chris Weir at CricketUsers.com. I'm looking at the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. This is an AT&T version in front of me. I know some people have been complaining about Wi-Fi performance with this device. I do advise that you go into the settings, select Wi-Fi, hit the menu button, and then go to Advanced. You have a lot more uh, options here. Network notification was automatically uh, enabled when I received this device. That's when it notifies you that an open network is available. So basically it's constantly scanning passport, connect to passport enabled Wi-Fi uh, APs automatically. Sort by uh, alphabet, keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. Uh, normally it winds up um, reverting back to cellular data when you're asleep, uh, when the phone is asleep. So uh, it uses that to check emails and sync other things. Uh, so you might want to keep that on Wi-Fi only to save some of your uh, data. Always allow scanning. Uh, I've turned that off. Auto network switch. Auto switch between Wi-Fi networks and mobile networks. It suggested that that might be the reason why a lot of people have uh, poor Wi-Fi performance when you're kind of on the fringe zone. It'll go back to um, cellular data maybe a little bit sooner than you want it to and then auto connect only connect to AT&T Wi-Fi hotspots when detected usually when I'm out in public I always wind up being on a fringe zone on the outskirts of the uh, free Wi-Fi networks so my data never works I'm gonna go ahead and disable that too so check those out uh, share your best settings uh, with us in the comment section below and if you have any question also place them in the comment section below Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's only through viewers like you that I'm able to do these videos. Thanks a lot.